Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we've got a, a guaranteed summoning event. This is what we've all been waiting for. Or is it? It's actually two at the same time or back to back, which are going to be launching. And they're both for epic champions. Also, both for champions from the new faction, the Sylvan Wa uh, Watchers. So I was expecting us to have a legendary. I thought it was maybe going to be uh, Elva, Autumnborn, or perhaps even. Alil, um, but no, they've gone for two epics of this faction. So let me just go through this here. This Tuesday, tomorrow, uh, there's going to be a guaranteed summoning event using ancient shards. Basically, if you pull 40 for zero, then you will get on the last pull a guaranteed Dudan the Runic. Do we feel like that's worth it? 40 shards. So to get a guaranteed epic, it's quite a reasonable amount of shards i think but i don't know if this dude is really worth it honestly so he's got an a1 which is quite cool 60 percent if you book him out chance to just clean a debuff off allies i actually think this is an awesome a1 yeah, it's almost like having a doom priest in your team without having a doom priest in your team we've got an a2 aoe hit uh puts a shield on equal to 15 percent of his hp and his hp is good um, increases the duration of all buffs on all allies. Buff increase. It's on a four turn. It's a shame that's not a three turn because that would be really solid. But it's actually a good ability as well. And an A3 brings out the new buff, the taunt buff. And in their recent raid digest, they kind of talked about the taunt buff, trying to bid it up. You know, saying it can be used against some bosses as long as it's a single target hit. Okay, that does mean it can be used to control where the stun hit is going to go on clan boss and it's on a three turn cooldown so you can make it so that just before that stun hit he always has his taunt up and therefore he's always going to be your stun target currently i feel like that's the best use case for this ability yeah he gets strengthened at the same time he takes the stun hit irrelevant of affinity and he puts counter attack on himself hopefully which will last for the next aoe hit at all uh aoe hit as well Especially as you can then increase the duration of that buff. I don't think you can increase the duration of Taunt. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I don't know. This guy, outside of that, there's a few kind of... There's a few situations where you do have single target hits. But it's not actually that many. And there's not that many times against bosses where it's single target stuff. Uh, I guess maybe for this faction, for Faction Wars, that could end up being pretty good. I think this guy is good, but not insane. Increased defense in all battles, good base stats. I think he's a useful champion, uh, good support base unit, but not anything crazy. Okay, the next one, though, is kind of crazy. So on the Wednesday, so on the 9th, this is going to be during Clan v Clan as well. So you do get a bit of extra reward for pulling in terms of some points. We have got the Void champion on a guaranteed. So on the 30th Void Shard, you will get yourself a guaranteed White Dryad Nia. Now, I did do a showcase of this champion in a clan boss setup. I do believe this champion can change metas. Yeah, I, I do believe this champion has got the ability to change things up, uh, which is cool. Now, we haven't, we haven't kind of found out all the ways yet. Yeah, this is going to be one of those champions over time. We get more and more ways that she starts to use her abilities. I think she's a really good void epic. I think she is up there as one of the better ones in the game. So 30 Void Shards on the Wednesday. She's got an AoE drop speed on her A1. This is kind of like a Hydra ability. Very nice for that. Um, also for any kind of waves for Faction Wars and that type of stuff. It's just generally decent. Her A2 is a cleanse on one person. Books to three turn. Then a juicy heal. Yeah. And if the, this is the important part. If the target of this skill is not this champion, decreases the cooldown of their skills by two turns. This also works on champions like Yumiko, Painkeeper, like all, the, all of those champions except for Kaimar that have got a re reduced cooldown ability, this will work on them as well. So I was talking about the potential of having her and Yumiko just kind of like spiral in their insane abilities. It could be kind of gross in the arena. I used it in, in my video for a clan boss setup where we were just forcing increased speed buff to be on all the time because she was reducing the the cooldown of Elva Autumnborn. That was quite cool. It meant that we were able to reduce the speeds of a clan boss team really low compared to what you'd normally have. And that was for like a Demitha comp. So definitely an interesting champion. 
She's also bringing Ally Protect and a Weak Source Strengthen, which is not bad. 15% less damage that your team's taking, plus Ally Protect, so she's taking that damage as well. Hooks to a three turn. And then she's got a passive as well. So when she takes a heal, she spreads 20% of that. So a fifth of the heal she takes, she's going to give to everyone else, which is a really nice passive as well. So yeah, I think White Dryad Nia is a really good Void Champion. And I would suggest it's worth shards. But 30 Void Shards is actually quite a lot. It's quite a lot to, to kind of get hold of. So I guess it depends on what you've got. And don't forget, you know, we're coming towards the end of a, a Fusion now which means the next one will be coming up. Yeah, probably in about, I don't know, like what, three weeks or something, two or three weeks, we'll be starting a new one. And you're going to need charts for that as well. So kind of you make your judgment on it. But there you go, guys. Guaranteed champions. Probably not what I was expecting. Not terrible, though. What do you think? Let me know down below. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.